It's Tom Capone. That's it, right? You already know what time it is. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome to Waves of the Bay. Yeah, I said it's Waves of the Bay. If you ain't about the action, better find another lane. If you ain't providing platforms, better find another stage. I'm living in my purpose. Every day is game day. Uh, and now it's time to level up. Give the people what they want. Show the artist off and strut. Let the music do the talking while the talent gets the fun. They said it's all written, but I had to change the fun. Come on, because I do what I want. Champions win, so I'm not about to taunt. After all the smoke clears, I'll be standing right here at the top. With my peers, living life without fears. I'm so ahead. Never looking in the mirror, never looking in the rear. Cause I'm known to switch gears. Hey, mom, thanks for raising me to be so brave. Tampa Bay, yeah, it's time for y'all to catch this wave. Right the way. Hey, hey, hey. Hold up. Let me let this ride right quick. This is that new OP Super Mad Smooth beat tape right here. I know you ain't up on that yet, Janelle. You got to get on that one right there. You need some beats. That's who you need to get at right what there. What do you mean? Mad OP Smooth my, and OP Super. OP I'm Super was on my last project. Damn, my Ooh. project before that. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, all right, all right. I might take that back a little That's bit. That's the homie. <laughs> dope, 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 dope producer. Yo, what's going on, Tampa Bay? Once again, Waves of the Bay is live in effect. This is WMNF Tampa. Everything you hear tonight is Tampa Bay based. Even the beats I'm talking over right now. Brand new beat tape from Mad Smooth OP Super. Shout out to the homies out there. I got Janelle in the studio right now. So, Janelle, welcome to Waves of the Bay. Hey. You were one of my uh, one of my Tampa Baywatch artists. Oh, Not too, yes. I guess it was too long ago. I mean, it's probably been like six months now. I don't even know anymore. But we, we had you on the phone, so now we actually got you in the studio. So I'm excited to have you. Excited to see you. And uh, you're here for a reason. So yes. before we even get into that, introduce yourself to anybody out there who does not know who Janelle is. Who don't know me? I'm just playing. I actually had uh, to tell somebody about you today. That's wild. I know. I was like, what? Am I, am I doing my job? I was like, like oh, okay. Well. <laughs> you know what I always say? I'm a new artist every day. So, hey. you know, somebody don't, don't know who I am. But uh, my name is Janelle. I'm an R&B soca uh, singer, songwriter, entrepreneur out here in the Tampa Bay area. Representing Trinidad and Tobago. Um, I am an advocate for creatives. I am an advocate for mental health in the creative arts industry. And, you know, I, do, I love what I do. Um, you know, I'm very inspirational. I am definitely a motivator in music, um, but that's that's where I started off in is, is my music, and it just blossomed from there. So I love to see that, too, because a lot of people don't understand the work that goes into putting on successful events, yeah. uh, the work that goes into preparing to be a, a performing artist. It's a lot. You know, like, there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes that people don't really recognize, and I've seen you, just like you said, blossom. You know, like you went from one lane to just opening it all the way up. So I love to see people just take that growth on. And, uh, you know, I've told you this before, but yeah. Creatology, Ooh. how did that even come about to, hey, to be? Let's go. Uh, the so second, this is year number two? Year two. All right, yeah. Wow, Jesus Christ. Already. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Creatology, um, it came from, well, it started last year. Um, and I wanted to create an entity or just... Um, an organization that shows creatives that they they are valuable. Who they are, their craft um, is valuable. I've seen a lot of conferences, and I've been a part, or you know, attended a lot of conferences. But I, and I'm not down in conferences. Come on with it. Just lay it out there. What I um, have noticed is that a lot of things aren't like 
you know, what can uh, the creative take with them? Mm -hmm. You know, um, yes, you can tell somebody never give up, but what are those tools that I can give to that creative so that they won't even in, in their mind even think that, oh, I don't have this resource, so therefore I'm just going to throw in the quote unquote towel. So uh, what Createology um, is about is telling and hel is helping those individuals, um, you know, as far as creatives. Uh, to to outlive their dream um, in the creative world and also we focus in on the mental health aspect in the creative arts industry because that's not really talked about uh, and I, yeah it's super super huge um, it's transparent moment you know two years ago I was actually diagnosed with an anxiety disorder and it affected me and my music um, it <laughs> made put me in uh, the imposter syndrome realm where I would compare myself to other people mm -hmm. and that affected me as an artist and I know a lot of other artists are going growing through the same thing they're just not saying that so this is where creatology comes into play because I'm a firm believer I can talk about the problem but I always have to have a solution right and I truly believe creatology Creatology Experience Conference is that solution to help the creatives know that they are valuable. You do have a safe space. Um, you are going to be educated and, you know, to, to help you create more, you know, because you don't want to forget that part that you can create all you want. But the educational part about it, that's crucial. That's Come important. On now. The business um, behind People the scenes. People are asleep on this so sleep, much. So sleep. much. It's more than just creating music. Yeah, that's cool. But I want you to get that, those resources, too. I want you to, to to be in the same room as those executives or radio hosts' tone. You know what I'm saying? You say, I don't know how I can reach them. Boom. He right there at the right networking here. event. Right. Talk to him. Say something yeah. else. What's the next excuse? <laughs> yeah, right. right. You know what I'm saying? Talk to him. Um, but, you know, even down to the networking event, um, I've witnessed a lot of networking events, but some people don't know how to network. Mm -hmm. So we're going to provide them with those tools to network. So we're going to have those different activities that they can um, do. Um, we're going to have free headshots for creatives. Because, Thank you. Thank you. Let me tell you why, y'all. Creatives, if you're listening to this, you do not want to send no promoter, no radio person. If you're going to be on a flyer, make sure you have a professional Please. headshot. Please. Not a selfie from Snapchat with the filter on it. Don't send me the MySpace picture. <laughs> the MySpace Like, bro, you, you're 10 years older right now. Come on now. <laughs> so um, what we're going to do is we're providing um, uh, M2 Media. He's a great photographer. He sponsored free headshots for all the individuals who are attending the networking event. And then they're going to have opportunities to um, to have be interviewed um, just to get a feel of what it is um, to be in that industry and just to let you know being a creative is not just in the music realm being a creative is is hosting a radio show it's it's becoming a banker there was actually a lady last year she came she was like I don't know why I'm here but my friend told me and I was like what do you do and she was like I'm a banker I don't know how creative I could be in that really? she walked out of that conference with four people signing up for her bank because they Networking. didn't have an account, a business account, to help them grow their business and, and their creative entity. So, yeah, it's it's definitely for that. I'm so excited about the the panel discussion as well because we have Dear Silas. I don't know if y'all ever heard of that song. I ain't stressing the day. Mm -hmm, hey, mm -hmm. He's going to be in town. I'm so excited. I'm a little nervous, but I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm excited, Tom. Uh, you're really nervous. Am. So what, what keeps you up at night about this event right here? I love asking this question because it's, it's one of them hard-hitting questions. It's it's a few things. Um, my purpose, you know, because my purpose here on Earth is to make individuals feel good about themselves. And it's more than just me. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Um, people are depending on me. Um, and they need this. I know that they need this. Um, another thing is I focus on the quality of the event. That's what keeps me up. I want to make sure that everything is, is good to go. That's why I started so early with promoting. Yep. Um, started so early with, um, you know, sending out stuff to, to the individuals who are involved so nobody can say that nothing <laughs> <laughs> that nothing is, is, is not there and ready for them. And another thing that keeps me up at night, I'm trying to get more sponsorships, y'all. Listen. Hey. 
Y'all hear this woman talking <laughs> right now. Look, Creatology. You you're influencing an entire generation right Praise now. Praise God, yeah. Join up. <laughs> but um, but mainly, you know, my purpose um, with Creatology and, you know, excited to see the creatives just walk out with something knowing that I left with something great and I'm going to carry it on to, to outlive my dream. So, yeah. I love it. I love it. We got music artist, event curator, uh, <laughs> vocal coach, uh, a lady of many hats over here. Janelle is in the studio with me Ooh. right here on Waves of the Bay. So let me think here. Uh, you did this for the artist. Yes. By an artist. <laughs> I want to know, as an artist, uh-huh. what are they going to pick up that you wish you would have known sooner? Ooh. Um, building relationships and knowing how to sell yourself, being confident in who you are. Um, I really wish I would have had more help with that. I had to find it out on my own Mm -hmm. Um, as far as the resources and building those relationships. You have the relationships that's going to be within the same room. All you got to do is learn how to network and go to that person. You don't know how to get on the radio? Hey, you never know. Tone may be in the building. You know what I mean? There you, there you go. You are literally two inches away from him. Mm-hmm. Go speak to him. I really didn't. I did not have that guidance. And um, I just want to give back to those creatives and tell them, here, it's right here in your hand. You do the work now. I'm going to drop a gem for everybody out here because yeah. you just hit on something that's very important. If you have a plan, you need to jot it down. You need yeah. to make a path. Figure out who you need to meet along the way to get yeah. you further along. But you need to have some type of blueprint behind it. Like, you can't just be wandering aimlessly. So with Creatology, you're doing it for the artist. You've been an artist. You know what you're looking for. You know what's missing. Right. And then another thing that I wish, um, I wish I had, you know, um, a safe space, you know, when I was um, growing through these things, anxious moments and things like that, and really focusing on the mental health aspect in the creative mm-hmm. arts industry. There wasn't really nothing like that in Tampa, let's be honest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was either shunned upon, it wasn't talked about, and whatnot. But I'm, I'm in a place right now where it's like they need the help. A lot of creatives, you know, they, they, they think that, you know, there's nowhere to go. You know what I'm saying? I'm stuck in this secluded space and I don't have anybody I can turn to well game we we changing the game Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying that's what creatology is about and it's not you know necessarily about the amount of people out there whomever is supposed to be there will be there Mm -hmm. and I know one thing's for sure they're going to leave with something whatever it is I'm so confident in that I'm extremely confident in that so alright so tell me how creatology (laughs) 2 is better than creatology 1 uh, <laughs> more people know about it. Okay, you know, you know, you, Tone. You know, you know when you do events or when you start something, they gotta see it first know, and then right. they'll believe it and from there. It's just like wow, yeah. it's crazy. It's wild. Tampa, we gotta do better. I'm just saying. I love my city, but we gotta do better, man. When it comes to the supporting, you know what I'm saying. You know, I, let's talk about what time is it gonna start. You know, <laughs> since we're talking about do better, right? You know, let's 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 y'all be on time. Let me let me let me tell you something. My events they do start on time. It was so funny. Uh, somebody walked in literally 15 minutes uh, right before it ended, and I was like, it was like, it's no, it started when I say seven o'clock. It Try starts to tell y'all. Doors open at six thirty. It will start at seven o'clock. Mm-hmm. First off, time is money, <laughs> but um, but yeah, the the timing uh, is that's that's super important. Make sure you start on time. But um, what really makes Creatology two? I like that <laughs> better than the first one. I would say the awareness. More people know about it, um, and then also it became international. We have people coming from South Africa. Mm. <laughs> And we've got a lot more help um, with that. Um, my ultimate goal is to, you know, allow the news and, you know, other radio stations to know about it and um, and all of that. And it will get to that point. And you never know. It may happen next week. So, but I am grateful for, you know, U-Tone 88.5 and other magazines and things like that, understanding the vision and, and allowing me to, you know, advocate for it more. So I appreciate you all. Uh, we I appreciate, appreciate you, you too. Yeah. Uh, and you're talking about purpose. Purpose and 
and and yeah. you know that's the reason why I use my platform how I do. You know, thankfully, eighty eight five does not tell me what I need to play. Right. You know, I'm not one of those other stations around here that gets told <laughs> what they have to play and right. neglects our area artists. Ooh. But you know, right. you know, I digress, but still, <laughs> you know, but. At the same time, it's like, what am I, you know, me, even before the radio, like, I've been putting on events for the artists out yep. here. You know, I've been part of producer events. I just came from judging an event. Like, I'm, me and, shout out to DJ Spaceship, but I will say we are all the way 10 toes down invested when it comes to Tampa Bay music. You I know, agree. we've done events in St. Pete, brought people across the bridge and, and back, you know. So, you know, just getting to that point and just seeing, you know, the growth from you for one, yeah. but just seeing people just like not chasing their dreams. It's like, yeah. what are y'all doing? Like, yeah. get after it. Yeah. And be hungry. Be inspired. Yeah. And I you think it, it, it stems like, you know, that they need that motivation and that push. They need reassurance. Creators need reassurance. Mm -hmm. I don't care what nobody say. Oh, I can do it. I'm no. We need reassurance. Mm -hmm. um, and I think. You're sensitive about that. show ish. Yeah, listen, Tell me. Um, it, it, you know we're lacking in that um, that reassurance um, category. Um, I say that because I, I've dealt with that a lot. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I, sometimes I would question myself: Am I doing this right? You know, am, am I getting the support that I'm supposed to be doing? You know, because you know I do Caribbean music and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I I don't do the, the typical Tampa, mm -hmm. you know, songs and stuff like that. So it, it was a little bit more challenging. But once I continued to be more true to myself, more people were like, "All right, cool, yeah, I rocks with that." Well, you can yeah. tell when somebody's not authentic yeah you know like you can tell you can tell when they're trying yeah but you can also tell when it's not real so like being yeah. genuine and being true to yourself goes yeah. a long way it does especially when it comes to your music and you know your brand and your yeah. image you know it definitely does and um that's one of the things we are going to be talking about at the creatology um ex experience conferences you know being genuine finding you finding who you are um uh, throughout your journey and your process and you know growing through that imposter syndrome mm. of, of the <laughs> you know what I'm saying of trying to be somebody that you're not and you're not satisfied within yourself so I'm glad you touched base on that because that's one of the things we are going to be talking that's about huge yeah Super huge. So That's huge. huge. We got Janelle in the studio right now. We're talking about creatology. We're talking about music. We're talking about life right now. Yeah. You know, this is Waves of the Bay. I appreciate y'all tuning in. You know, this is what we do. This is what we're about. Anywhere. I won't even go in there, you know, but we give, we, we show love to the artists back in more in ways than just playing their music. We actually like to get to know who we're, who we're playing and getting affiliated with. This is your hometown heroes right here. So. Yes, you are. Tell us the goat, y'all. Hey, I, I do what I can. I do what I can, you know, but nah, it's all about you though. And Aww. I love the fact that you just made that avenue for, for anybody that needs it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you utilize your own experiences and. Play, paid it forward. And that's what it's about. Um, I read a quote um, the other day, I think it was from Steve Jobs. He was like, the people who want to save the world are the ones who usually do. Mm -hmm. um, and I may not be able to touch everybody, but I am going to touch somebody. Um, and I, I want creatives to just feel good about themselves. Because I remember when I was in that place of uncertainty, not feeling good about myself. Even though y'all would see me on stage, I would get off that stage. And I'm like, I would beat myself up, self-sabotage. You oh, worse man, than I me. on this note. Yep. You know what I'm saying? People's like, yeah, you did so great. And I'm just like, yeah. You know, on the inside, I'm like, thanks. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, um, but now, you know, I'm confident in what I do now. And I just, I can't wait to see more and more creators just become true in themselves. Regardless if they mess up, they know and, and they're confident within themselves knowing that, yeah, I am that ish. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Whatever feel that, that I'm in, you know, not necessarily just music, but, you know, poetry or music production. Because we do have workshops with that as well. We have mm. acting workshops. Um. Um, songwriting workshops, music production workshops, and oh, oh, it's gonna be. Listen, look here, it's gonna be dope. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all, when is it? It's going to be next week, July seventh and the eighth. Mm -hmm. The networking event is going to be on the seventh, and your workshops are in the morning, July eighth, and then the panel discussion featuring some amazing panelists, um, July eighth as well at seven p.m. Make sure you are there you can find us at at its creatology that at its c r 
E A T O L O G Y. Ooh, look at you. Yeah. That's tough. That was a tough read. Listen, right I was there. like, uh huh. I seen you. <laughs> and I always say, don't follow me, follow my businesses because that's how I truly grow. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Let me ask you this. So I got confident Janelle here right now, right? <laughs> what, what words of wisdom would you give to the Janelle from a couple years ago that needed Ooh. to hear it? Um, it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not be okay. You don't have to put a front in front of nobody. Um, that's when you really start to really know and grow more into who you are. So it's okay to not be okay. Um, I'm glad and I'm happy that I went through what I went through. Mm -hmm. Or I wouldn't be this confident Janelle that you see now. Um, so, yeah, that's what I would tell her. It's okay to not be okay. I need y'all to hear these words, yo. Like, <laughs> I feel like over the... Maybe COVID just, like, accelerated things. But I feel Probably. like since COVID, I feel like a lot of people just need to hear those words. And a lot yeah. of people need to hear that they're not alone. They're you not. know, some people have been quarantined, isolated, whatever the case may be, and they feel like they're just by themselves. You're not. Yeah. You know, somebody will hear you. Like, and I know people. Up. I know some people. They say it's easier said than done. I get it, but in all honesty, you are not alone. Swallow your you know, pride. Listen, there are so many people who aren't saying anything. Don't believe the hype on social media. Let me tell you something, because so half of those people who are on social media sh showing this and that and whatnot, you'd be so surprised. Mm -hmm. They go home crying. Mm -hmm. Okay, so listen, it's okay to not be okay, and you are not alone. It's all right. And if you need some inspiration, come on out to the Creatology oh, Experience Conference, July 7th and 8th. <laughs> <laughs> mean with it, mean with it, yo. Hey, I got Janelle in the studio right here. I'm telling you, Creatology is going down this Friday and Saturday. If you're an artist, if you're a creative, if you're a fan, if you just want to know more about knowing more, like this is where you need to be at. You're going to get to meet some of Tampa's best, get your networking on. Uh, get your networking on. Yeah. Like, it's more about just you being an artist. Like, you, this music business is a business. Yeah. So get your networking on. Get That's out there, it. shake some hands, meet some engineers, meet some songwriters, meet some producers, meet some media. Yeah. It's all going to be right there. You guys can take workshops. There's a panel you can soak information in from, but it's all right there. Where is it going to be at? It is going to be at an entity called Creative Collective. It's going to be at Revealing Truth. Um, it's going to be on Armenia and Hillsboro. I don't know if y'all familiar okay. with that, but y'all know the skating ring right next. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm really excited. Um, and the people who are involved with Creative Collective, they are excited as well um, because that's what we want to do. We just want to bring these creatives together to show them that they are valuable. So, yeah. <laughs> well, tell the people how they can find you one more time. Of course. Don't follow me. Follow my businesses and the business. <laughs> the Instagram. <laughs> I'm going to get a shirt like that. You don't. should. That's what you need to wear to create talent. Listen. Branding. Look. look one at on you. one. Look at you. <laughs> um, but you can follow us on Instagram at at at, I can't even speak, at It's Creatology, that's C-R-E-A-T-O-L-O-G-Y um, or you can simply find it on Eventbrite Creatology Experience Conference. It will be the first thing that pops up. You can't miss it. Um, you know, my, my interns, they'll respond quick enough if you got questions um, and things of that nature. So, we're excited to see you there. Um, don't you gonna be there or no? I'm gonna try. You want to try? I'm All try. right, cool. I would love to. The Saturday looks more uh, more promising, more than, promising? The, than the Friday. But okay. We'll see. Cool. I cool. want to get out there and interview people for real. Let, no, seriously, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. So, um, but yes, um, hope to see the creators there in the building, and uh, yeah, I'm excited. As you should. Yeah. As you should be. <laughs> Once again, Janelle is in the studio. Thank you for coming through. As a matter of fact, hold on, hold on, hold on. How much time I got? Ten fifty two. All right. Last time I talked with you, we dropped blue. Oh, yeah. Where's the rest of the music at? When should we be expecting well, more music? I know you got conference. a surprise for us. or After the conference. Oh, you're about to make an announcement at the conference. Look at you. you going to Oh, I broke it down right. already. Look. <laughs> you heard it first. <laughs> we got the exclusives over here, for real. But no, Waves of the Bay, this is the entire reason why we're here. We play the music. We get to know the artists. We get to know about what's going on in the community because we are for the community. No other station is checking for our artists like this, like straight up. That's the reason why I got Best of the Bay for Waves of the Bay is because we are the best celebration. We are the best on-air celebration of local artists. I do not like to call y'all local artists.
Lakers because yeah. y'all are international Thank with it. Thank you. Y'all Tone. are international with it. The, the way distribution that. works, there's people in India listening to your music right now. I Straight up. That. So, yeah, just like that. But make sure y'all pay attention to who I'm playing, who I'm talking with, because there's stuff going on right now. And if this even interests you even a little bit, I urge you to go ahead and look into the webpage. It's Creatology. Uh, at It's Creatology. Go look into that one right there <laughs> and get more information about it. Because Friday and Saturday is going down. This is the second. And I know next year. Have you already started planning next year's? After right after <laughs> we gonna plan the third. Yep. Now you in it. And now they got you in the machine. Better. Now I already see. know who I want. Oh. Ooh. All right. This is what this is the calm before the storm right here. But no. <laughs> Thank you once again for taking time out of your schedule to come through here. Thank you for what you're doing for Tampa Bay and everybody in, in the surrounding areas with Creatology. And then uh, I'm about to play your music right now because Aww. you are an independent international artist. So who else can who else can talk to an uh, artist and play their music <laughs> right afterwards, man? Gangsta with it, yo. But thank you for coming through here for real. Thanks for having me, Tone. I appreciate you. For sure. This is Waves of the Bay. I'm going to get into some music right now. I'm about to play Blue from Janelle. This is the newest track she dropped on me last time. She uh, she talked with me. I, I guess it's been January, February. I don't even know anymore. One, yo. Of, them, one, of, them one of them months. Uh, one of them months a long time this ago. This year going so. by so fast. <laughs> yes, it is. But yo, Waves of the Bay, we'll be right back with y'all in just a moment, y'all. Never looking in the rear Cause I'm known to switch gears Hey mom, they 